Hello. Hello. Hi, it's Scott Manley here. Today, today it's family board game time, obviously. And yeah, I know I usually play spaceship games, but this is very much a spaceship board game. It's an educational spaceship board game. Okay, I say educational. I mean, most I could. I think I can make anything educational, but this one is designed by an actual scientist, right? This is Dante Loretta, who is the principal investigator for the OSIRIS-REx mission. A mission which is already won by having probably one of the best acronyms in space history. So uh, OSIRIS-REx is going to go to the asteroid Bennu and pick up a sample, study the asteroid and bring it back to Earth. And the goal of Extronaut is to build your own missions using the cards to assemble rockets and then send them on those missions so you can get data points and eventually win the game. So this was actually a Kickstarter run by uh, Dante and he's actually just started another Kickstarter for another science-based game called Constellation. So how the game basically works is you're obviously trading cards and you're trying to put together a rocket to complete this mission. So you need a first stage booster, a second stage booster, and then a left and a right fairing. And trust me, you will forever find that you have one fairing but not the other. Now the mission cards themselves are kind of nice. They basically tell you what is required to do to complete the mission. So this one says it needs you either need an orbiter or a lander. You need to have 16 kilometers per second of delta V. You can use Earth as a gravity assist, and then you'll get either three, four, or five points, depending upon whether you use a small, medium, or large spacecraft. Now, in this case, I have a large orbiter. I need only 16 kilometers per second, which is actually kind of small for a lot of these missions. So I get five from the spacecraft itself. Uh, because it's a large spacecraft, I get two kilometers per second from the second stage and eight from the first stage. So that gives me 15 kilometers per second, so close. But, you know, there's all these extra cards around the outside and you can have extra things such as you can add a single additional booster. Yes, you can build uh, an asymmetric Delta, uh, sorry, Atlas V, just like the real Bennu sample return OSIRIS-REx mission. That's one way to do it. Or, you know, say you don't have that sitting around, you could just like downgrade the size of your spacecraft and go to a medium orbiter instead. You would get less points, but it might be safer than perhaps waiting for more hardware. Now, once you complete the mission, you get to keep your card, and then uh, you get to pick a new mission. Now, you'll get given three cards, and they have these nice little descriptions on the back. Launch an observatory into this planet's orbit to monitor climate and weather patterns. Circle around our nearest neighbor to understand ancient volcanic processes. Or orbit this icy satellite to map the size and composition of a subsurface ocean. Well, I like that one. That's Europa. But the other two, you can probably guess. One is a lunar orbiter, or the other is a geostationary Earth orbiter. And they have their, their own requirements. So now, normally you would clear all these parts away. Unless, of course, you are flying the Falcon 9. In which case you get to keep your first stage boosters and reuse them. Uh, as we found out today, that actually works for real. Uh, of course, the fairings are suppo supposedly being salvaged. Now, say, say if I want to try doing a Europa orbiter with this same spacecraft, I have a large orbiter. Well, we figured out already I get 15 kilometers per second with this, but can I do better? Well, we have the one uh, additional booster. Normally, you would have up to only five cards in their hand. But I can, I can use Venus as a gravity assist. That'll give me four kilometers per second. I could use Mars as a gravity assist, maybe. And then uh, the second stage booster, there's actually different kinds here. So this one is a two-engine Centaur, right? So this is, a, this is a single Centaur. This is double Centaur. It gives you twice as much delta V. It gives you four kilometers per second. So that's a four plus four plus three, right, plus eight. So that's 19. Uh, plus 5, 24, we're still short, but look, additional boosters. You can have different ser sets of additional boosters on the Atlas V. Here's 5, here's 3, there's a, all the way, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, yeah, here's 4 as well. But So I could, I could just use any of these, and bang, I got myself a Europa Orbiter. Europa Clipper for reals. Now, in your hand, you might get these other action cards, right? So these are things that you play each turn that you don't use them to build a rocket. For example, you can have a budget surplus, which means you get to draw two cards. Spare parts lets you draw four cards. 
Rocket Salvage, that lets you go into the discard pile and take back a part that you need to complete your rocket. That's a very useful thing to do at times. And you can be nasty to other players. You can say that your rocket, your mission is a national priority. And that means you get to steal a part from another player. Or you could just play the government shutdown card. Yes, we all know how that works. It shuts down somebody else's mission. They can't do anything until they play a couple of these cards. Or you could financially audit another player and get one of their cards and uh, throw the other way away. These are things that make the game a game. Now, one of the things worth talking about in this is the manual. The manual is uh, kind of obviously, look, there's, there's the guy, Dante, there's the Osiris Rex spacecraft. It talks about the people that actually worked on this. Special thanks to United Launch Alliance and, of course, SpaceX and everything. Uh, it plays with up to four players. So you get basic rules section at the start, but then the second half is all bonus workbook material, stuff that you can actually use in an educational setting. If you want to play this with your kids or if you want to play this with students, it has activities that you can do. It has crosswords and sheets, uh, you know, activities to write up. It explains how rockets work and explains it within the game. So it's actually a pretty good thing if you're interested in playing something with your kids that isn't a video game and might teach them rocket science, then uh, Extronaut definitely stands out there as a possibility. It's not the most complicated game ever. It's not the greatest game ever. I mean, uh, there's a lot of real, I have a lot of really good space games like Star Realms, or you could just blow all your money on X-Wing miniatures. So yeah, uh, some of the other nice things about it is the game boards, they all uh, reference real launch sites. So we have Cape Canaveral Launch Complex 40, and 41 and 40. Then we have Vandenberg, uh, Launch Complex 3, and Launch Complex 6. These are all real launch sites with nice pictures of them. Now in terms of rockets, there are four different rockets that are represented. They're all US designed. So we have the SLS, the Space Launch System, which uh, is, well, it's the one that has the most Delta V, I believe, of any of the designs in the game. But it's big and expensive, and you get a specific, you know, rare kind. You have... Well, you've already seen me using the Atlas V, which is nice because it has all these variations in terms of its boosters and its uh, second stage. So you can fine-tune the amount of Delta V. You have a lot of different options there. The Delta, uh, this is the Delta IV, and it's okay. It does have this nice, super high-powered uh, yeah, additional booster, which the Atlas V does not, but it really can't compare to the Falcon 9. The Falcon 9 is almost certainly, it's objectively better than the Atlas or the Delta in this game. Because not only do the first stages and the boosters give you tons of Delta V, they also get returned to your hand after every launch because of, of uh, you know, equipment reuse and recovery. So if you're wanting to win this game, it's best to try and get all the bits for the Falcon 9. You'll have yourself, uh, you'll find yourself, you know, launching a lot faster. Of course, it is a game, the stuff is a limited resource. You could find yourself competing with other players. And I guess that's where it really does become a game when you're trying to fight between each other for parts. Okay, Sky, your turn. What are you going to get? Yeah, small orbiter. What are you going to do? Oh, okay. So. Now, so by substituting her large orbiter for a small orbiter, you keep the gravity assist, Sky. I don't need it. I don't need it, though. You have, oh, okay. You have 22 kilometers it's per second on your external... It's basically the whole thing. It's basically the whole thing. This is just extra. Like... You, you, yeah, I guess so. I, I get to launch! You get to launch, and you get four points. The curl flies! Whoa! Woo! Excellent. It's <laughs> Okay, Sky, you've completed a mission. Yay! Yay, that means you get to, you, the ones that you've thrown away get to go away, and now, now you get to take three mission cards. You have the option of orbiting this icy satellite to map the size and composition of a subsurface ocean. You can return a sample from this satellite to see if it has captured an asteroid or fragment of its parent planet. Or orbit this small terrestrial planet and search for evidence of liquid water on the surface. Oh, this one's going to be Mars, right? I don't know. Jupiter or something. Mars! It's I'm Mars! Right. You're going to Mars! And we're going to try and drink the water and we're all You get to keep that as a trophy as well. Who. Don't drink the water because of Doctor Who. 
Okay, Orion, it's your turn now. Okay, and go draw a card. Okay, yes. draw a card. Um, nothing really useful. But I was really uh, waiting because I finally have a full rocket now. You have a full rocket as well. Woo! I am a terrible player at this game somehow. <laughs> So now you let's let's do the math on this, right? Okay. You're trying to launch a medium space uh, rover. Yeah, medium rover. And you need thirty-two kilometers per second. Yes. So you add eleven plus twenty. <laughs> You've already it's got it. Got You've it. already it's got it. it. <laughs> wow. So you get eight points because you launched a Mars that. sample return oh, mission. Wait, eight points. That's oh, eight. That's a lot. That's a lot. I almost like got like ten already. But now you throw the rest of these things back into the pile. Oh dang it! Yes, <laughs> Sky at least gets to keep again. her first stage if she wants. I can also Sky's already that. assembling a rocket as we speak because she gets to keep some of the parts. I need three more parts. Okay, I need a new one. Or no, you get a new mission. You keep that for yourself as a prize. Woo! Okay, so your missions are land on the surface of this inner planet to date the ages of his volcanic flows. Or land on the surface of this satellite and search for water deposits in the north, in the polar craters. Mm. Satellite, okay? Descend to the surface of this satellite and study gases condensed <laughs> from its planet's atmosphere. No cheating. Which right? one do you want? <laughs> Remembering that you need only a couple of points. Hmm. I, I, I do the middle oh, one. Yeah. I do the middle one. I do the middle one, <laughs> right. No! Where's it to? Oh, this is easy. Yes, oh, it's going to? Easy. Okay. <laughs> the moon! I get two of the small and at oh. least 15 kilometers per second. Yes, so you got it easy. So, like, I got it it's really easy. Okay, so you get the idea of how the gameplay works. You basically have the cards and they do all these things. It's a really simple game. It's designed kind of to be played with kids. So yeah, I I, uh, I think this is a cool little game, but as I said, this was originally Kickstarter. There is a new Kickstarter that you should check out because uh, I think Dante is an awesome dude and you should check out his stuff. Uh, it's for a Constellations game. I can't really show you what that is because it hasn't been made yet, but yeah, check it out. I'm Scott Manley. Fly safe. Woo!